Armstrong, who has the owner of Black Gold Ranch. So, guess what I do for a living? <laughs> good, pretty good guess. Uh, Black Gold Ranch is actually a cow calf outfit and a feed yard in West Central Illinois, and. Uh, I've been involved with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association for as long as I can remember, 20, 30 years. And this has been the item at the top of our docket for that long. I cannot imagine having to come back here time and time again and continue to talk about this because I, I just can't understand where we don't understand why this is such a bad law. I mean, it's one of those, are you kidding me? kind of things. It, it doesn't make any sense that we would be in that, uh, in that mode at all. We should be way past that. And these guys, obviously, and ladies, you know, they're the A-team. They figured out that we've got to get this thing stopped because this is the death knell for the, a way of life that a lot of people would really love to embrace. My outfit's just a little bit different than some. You know, a lot of outfits have got uh, generations and generations. I'm a first-generation rancher. My dad is a plumber, believe it or not, and my children have been working side-by-side side with me to pay for a ranch. I mean, when we have a mortgage payment come due, they have made that payment. When we have our property taxes due, that are due actually next week, you know, they help make that payment. And then when I kick the bucket, they're going to get to do it all over again and pay for that. That doesn't make any sense to me, and I certainly wouldn't think it would make any sense to you all, especially we've got a whole crowd of folks that are my kids' age, they're in their 30s, you know. Why would you want to pay for something and then be taxed and have to figure out how to pay for it again? doesn't make any sense. Lots of things have been said. I can't repeat, no, no need in repeating what the cost of land has done and why, that, why that's the situation. But, uh, you know, that, that you wind up building an estate because farmers and ranchers aren't a very bright bunch. And I include my, you know, instead of after we cash in and we take our money, we don't run off to Cancun on a very regular basis and take a vacation. We don't buy a, a luxury automobile. We do all that money. We plow it right back into that dirt. Because as, as farmers and ranchers, we have a stewardship responsibility, and we have to figure out, you know, what we do with that, that cash to make it better. If you want to talk about sustainability and those sorts of things and feeding the public, why would, and I, I can't understand how we can have these two conversations, why would we be talking about wanting to keep family farms together to provide food and then continue to allow this tax to be there to be the demise of that tax? I would certainly hope that we can get lots and lots of support here and, and uh, you all uh, understand the, the, the passion which all of us uh, speak about it and we appreciate the opportunity to come and talk this afternoon. Thanks, Steve. Very much.